right now. I'm with Christine. I was wrong right now. It's one of my favorites. I and um, one of my passions is autism. I'm very, uh, not afraid, I'm very concerned about how so many kids will have autism by the year 2032. Every boy born, and every girl born by 2041. Upon my responsibilities to stop it. And I met Christine, and she also had the same passion to share her story. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. My name is Christine O'Donnell. Uh, I am a mother of four children. I am here today to talk to you about um, autism uh, and the vaccines and what's happening to our children, uh, the children's health in this country at this time and the changes that have happened. Uh, my whole experience began with my daughter. I had four children and my youngest daughter, Katie, uh, when I had given her the DPT shot um, at the pediatrician's office, had had a reaction uh, not long after that shot. Within a few days, I noticed she became lethargic. She changed. Her face began to bleed. She got eczema. Uh, she couldn't eat the foods that she was able to eat before. She grew allergic to bananas. Um, she was allergic to everything, everything that we would feed her. And, um, and it was quite scary. I had taken my beautiful 10-month-old daughter, 11-month-old daughter at the time, and I saw a pretty quick change in her. Um, to make a long story short, um, I, after that point, I, I, we had to restore her back. And that took a lot, it, it took a lot of work. It was with the foods that restored Katie back, and it was um, detoxification that restored Katie back. Um, I had done another YouTube uh, video with Arnold, and I kind of had described the, the healing modalities I used to heal my daughter. Um, it took a lot of time, and and that's that was about 12 years ago. That sent me into researching. That's when I learned something. What's going on with my daughter? What what did this shot do? What are the foods doing to her? What what what's going on? So it was through my personal experience of having my daughter um, have a reaction to one of the shots. Um, when I had gone to a homeopathic doctor and an MD, he put his glasses down and he said, Christine, you're lucky she's not autistic. And I said, What? Was that even a possibility? I knew nothing at the time. I trusted my doctor wholeheartedly. I trusted that these vaccines were safe. Uh, I didn't even question the protocol or the policy at all. And I learned the hard way through my daughter. Uh, now it's a blessing because now we are able to see what was in our food system, what's in our shots. Um, for my family, restoring Katie uh, gave us the opportunity to see what's really happening to our kids in this country. At the time, when I gave my daughter the DPT shot, I was fully trusting the doctors. I, I had no reason not to trust. I had three older children uh, who had received the vaccines, and so far as I knew, they were fine. I did not even know that there was a risk factor. Uh, I didn't even, I, I thought, I, I thought if, if they're giving these to our children, they're safe. They have to be safe. Well, that wasn't the case that I learned with my daughter. Um, so after that, her reaction to that, I decided I was going to find out what was going on with these vaccinations. And so what I did is I did a lot of research, which led me, um, for the past five years I've been writing um, a book. Uh, it's about children's health issues, uh, about the chronic diseases that we're seeing in our children. Um, and that came about because of my daughter and my experience. Things have changed in the past 20 to 30 years drastically in our food system, in our vaccine protocol, and in our environment. And I feel like the sum of all these parts are causing um, a real toxic overload for our kids. Um, and the vaccines may be one of the triggers that just sends them right over the edge. Um, that's what happened to my daughter. And I have met so many women and mothers whose children have a different uh, array of chronic diseases, uh, whether it be autism, which is brain inflammation, or whether it be food allergies or Crohn's, um, 
And what I say to the autistic moms, and they'll tell me, well, after that shot, he changed, the lights went out, something changed. I tell them, I believe you. I believe you, because I watched it with my daughter and was lucky enough to have it go in, not lucky enough, I mean, but it did not go the route of brain inflammation. It went the route of autoimmune, chronic um, uh, asthma, food allergies, uh, eczema. Hers went in, into that, went that path with the autoimmune. So I feel grateful that I think the autistic parents are the ones that are in the trenches who are the warriors uh, in, this, in this situation. and. and um, we're not being told all the facts about the shots. There are two sides to this vaccine controversy, and we are only being told the one side. Uh, there's infectious diseases, curing infectious diseases. That is all they're focusing on when they're not telling us there's another side. And the other side of this is um, vaccine injury. Vaccine injury, um, a lot of the toxins that are in these vaccines, we're not being told the risks that our child could die that our child could uh, have a brain injury, that our child, and then on a smaller scale that they're not telling us that we're seeing is that children are developing all these food allergies and immune system problems. And so we're not being told both sides of the story. And um, we've lost, at least I think a lot of moms now have lost trust. We've lost trust in the system and how could we not? Hell yes, I'm not gonna trust again. You, I, was, my, I had an experience where I gave my daughter something that was harmful to her, and I wasn't told any of the facts. So I guess as a mom, know your information, go to NBIC website, uh, talk to other mothers, uh, go with your gut instinct. I prayed a lot. I prayed after this, uh, after this uh, whole experience with Katie. I prayed for the inner wisdom and the guidance to, to do my research and stand firm on that. Um, know when you go into your doctor's office, have the facts there, and don't do anything you're not ready to do or want to do. You have a right to choose whether you want to vaccinate your child or not.